Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of Feb, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Libra, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of Feb. Uh, what you need to know regarding your career, your finances, what are the general messages. As far as love life is concerned, we'll see what is the energy on Valentine's Day, what are the messages for Valentine's Day. And other general messages related to love, we'll see uh, what is the energy dynamic between you and your ex, what is the energy dynamic between the current interest in you, and if you are single and if you don't know if anyone is interested in you, then we'll talk about a brand new person for you guys. I'll also pull out some oracle cards and we'll see what are the messages for you from the higher powers in the universe. Let's get started now. Let's get started. <clears throat> what do you need to know we have high priestess what is your energy for the month of feb libra high priestess for you finances and career we have the fool general messages we have two of cups love messages for valentines we have two of pentacles and the tower card Then energy dynamic between you and your ex, three of pentacles. Then current interest, ten of cups. A brand new person, page of cups. Oracle messages for you. Oracle messages for you. Let's see what are the oracle messages for you. This is something we'll discuss at the fag end. Interesting. So if I have to talk about the zodiac signs, uh, Libra, I see Pisces, Cancer, I see Aries, Scorpio, uh, all water signs, Capricorn, Taurus, if the sign pops up, all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs, okay? Let's talk about you first. So Libra, what you need to know for the month of Feb, what is your energy for the month of Feb? High Priestess. High Priestess is telling me, Libra, that Mm. High Priestess, it sort of looks like uh, you are going to become highly self-reliant, okay? Maybe in the past, you probably needed validation from others for your life decisions or uh, if you were slightly confused, um you are like, rather than trying to resolve it on my own, I better seek some help from someone else. Okay. I think so for small, small things, you were kind of codependent on others for a lot of things. But I feel with the high priestess that your inner strength is growing in the month of Feb. Okay. The, the power, the willingness, uh, patience is growing to a large extent in the month of Feb. And, uh, because of that, I do feel like your codependent codependency on other things or other, on other people will sort of reduce to a large extent. Okay. I also feel like you learn to listen to yourself, Libra, which probably you were not doing in the past. Uh, listen to yourself. I mean, you will listen to your gut instinct. You will listen to your NT2 downloads. Maybe in the past, say for example, in relationships, if you were noticing red flags, and your intuition was telling you something, your gut instincts were telling you something, you kind of chose to ignore those red flags, you kind of chose to ignore what your intuition was trying to tell you, uh, and kind of 
you know maybe you were wearing rose tinted glasses in relationships and you were ignoring your intuitive downloads and gut instincts all the time but i think so your gut instincts uh your in, your uh, your intuitive downloads is not only strong but your will power to listen to yourself is also growing okay so in a way i do feel like your codependency on others is definitely reducing to a large extent and you are becoming a better version of yourself you will notice that you are evolving you're liking who are you, who you are becoming i also feel like you're cutting out lot of noise in and around you okay say for example if you're hanging out with a few chosen people for a very long period of time you kind of you're realizing that your growth has sort of stunted because you're too much with the same kind of people you're too much around the same people and it's time for you to be a part of different set of people or a, you need to be a part of different group of people to experience something new or to manifest the growth the desired growth that you really want okay so i think so um you're cutting out the same noise i i don't know why i'm hearing cutting out the noise maybe the kind of people that you hang around with they sort of have become they sort of have latched onto your energy libra okay and uh, one of the reasons if you have ever experienced a uh, lot of confusion in your life lot of indecisiveness in your life that is because your energy was always intermingled with someone else's energy okay if you were too co codependent on other things and other people for your life decisions that was because there was solid lack of clarity and this lack of clarity was because someone else's energy was always and always intermingling with your energy and i think so you are realizing that you are cutting out some noise okay you you probably will stop hanging out with the same kind of people that you are hanging out since last couple of years okay or you'll you'll stop doing the same thing or you will probably try to focus on something else something new in your life okay maybe for some of you you are also feeling like life is becoming slightly monotonous you will try to bring a change that's what i'm getting a change in the energy a shift in the energy is quite uh, indicated but that change will come after you put in some efforts after you distance yourself from something or someone and i do feel with the high priestess that you need to do that you got to ask yourself is there something or someone that you need to distance yourself from for some of you it can be a habit a habit that is uh, say for example drinking or smoking or maybe something else like you you keep on procrastinating a lot there is something that you need to get rid of it's a habit it's a situation or it can be a person you got to ask yourself and i think so you will do that in the month of feb regarding your career and your finances with the full card libra i feel that uh the card is suggesting you to take some risk okay take the risk don't fear in taking the desired risk whatever that risk might be like quitting a job and starting something of your own okay or hopping jobs or uh, expanding your business or expanding uh, alternative sources of income okay so there is a risk that you need to take and probably you know what you need to do when i say that there is a risk that you need to take i think so deep down you know that there is something that you got to do but you were holding yourself back for so long okay now the energy for the month of feb is also very supportive so don't hold yourself back okay the 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 fool card is definitely indicating that if you take the risk the rewards will follow you are supported the universe is supporting you in your efforts the universe is supporting you in your endeavors in fact i'll say that even if you don't know what you, what risk you want to do even if you don't know what you want to do i would suggest through this card that if you want to start a new i mean you should start a new business you should start some alternative side hustle i'm not saying that forget or stop doing whatever you're doing i'm saying that do multiple things in parallel and you are capable of doing that i think so as far as money is concerned you are capable of manifesting some massive rewards but to manifest those massive rewards some good amount of risk is also required okay so think about it money will flow in money will definitely flow in money is is going to be a part of your life it has to be a part of your life 
okay and money will you will never find yourself in a situation where uh money is running away from you no see libra you are governed by venus libra and taurus you guys are governed by venus okay and venus is not only a uh, uh, a planet of love but venus is also about luxury venus is also about comfort okay so you are capable of manifesting that money will never run away from you but if you put some desired efforts uh, some extraordinary flow of money will will come towards you okay general messages interesting we have got two of cups over here i do feel some much awaited union is going to happen a uh, much desired union is going to happen for people who are single and you don't know who this person is i think so <clears throat> at a very subconscious level libra you're manifesting someone in your life i mean you might know this person you might not know if you if you know you're you're manifesting a specific person but if you don't know still you're manifesting someone because you have a checklist ready at the back of your mind like what kind of a person you want for yourself okay you want someone to be loyal you want someone to be um good looking and someone matured and someone awakened and you you do you do have a lot of checklist okay when it comes to your when it comes to your future partner and keeping that checklist at the back of your mind keeping that criteria at the back of your mind you're manifesting someone and i think so with when it comes to two of cups it is always like the two people with a lot of similarities with equal mindset with similar mindset with a strong willingness to uh, put in the required work when it comes to love and relationships such kind of two people are coming together okay and these two people of are, are capable and willing to fulfill the expectations of others of the other person okay and universe is acting as a mediator over here universe is bringing the angels are bringing you uh, two people together so i think so whatever is is about to happen in your life when it comes to love and romance i feel like this is an orchestrated uh, situation this is a this is happening at the divine time in your life and in fact i do feel like it's been long your single libra it's been long your craving for love it's been long your craving for uh <clears throat> your craving for love and romance and finally you are finding someone that you think is the right person for you that's what i'm getting with two of cups let's talk about your love life what is the energy on valentines interesting uh i do feel that uh especially with the tower card i do feel uh, libra that uh before valentines if you are a part of a toxic situation it's very likely that you will be very strongly desirous of breaking it down okay because you probably there are few people who are already interested in you okay and if the toxic relationship is not making you happy you definitely want to get out of it and you want to go on a date with the new people who are already interested in you i'm getting that kind of a scenario okay for some of you like tower card is applicable for <clears throat> for people who are a part of a toxic situation okay but tower card is not just an end it is also an opportunity for a new beginning an opportunity to build something solid okay whatever was built it was built on on shaky grounds okay so indeed some day it was it was going to fall uh it was going to break down so if the foundation itself is so shaky if the foundation is not strong whatever you are trying to build on shaky grounds it will fall down okay and this existing relationship if if you are a part of a relationship if, if you are a part of a connection which was built on not so good terms or which was built on shaky grounds it is it is falling and i think so you will do something to break it before valentines because i also feel like you probably have already few people new people who are interested in you and there is definitely more than one person who is interested in you 
to take you out on valentines okay and this breakdown of a situation is not a surprise for you this is something that you are envisioning this is something that you were expecting this is something that you had manifested okay so uh, a tox if there is a toxic situation in your life it is breaking down <clears throat> and i do feel like there are new interest multiple interest multiple people who are interested in you and want to take you out on valentines and probably that is going to be a tough decision for you i want to pull out some more cards for this spirit we have sun card at the bottom of the deck okay i think so your overall valentines and overall month of feb is going to be very happy okay let's see please provide some more cards for valentines what is the energy for libra for valentines please provide some more cards for valentines what is the energy for libra for valentines like i'm not getting some conclusive cards or you no know, what is your energy what is the energy of the person who is coming towards you the hanged man someone is watching you someone is stalking you libra someone is watching you okay we have yeah someone is watching you libra i'm telling you there are people who are interested in you i mean both the cards have confirmed like someone is definitely watching you stalking you through your social media okay you have a secret admirer who is that libra who is that death and rebirth interesting hmm <laughs> libra are you going out with your ex on valentines i mean i pulled out this card three of pentacles is the card for your ex i mean what is the energy of three of pentacles three of pentacles is people coming together to build something really really solid okay and this was the card of uh, for the energy dynamic between you and your ex okay it looks like your ex is very seriously desirous of building a solid connection with you very seriously desirous of building something long lasting with you okay they have already envisioned a long term future with you and then we have death and rebirth card so something that got ended in the past is reigniting okay so for some of you for some of you it can be reunion with your ex on valentines okay for some of you it can be a a union with your soulmate from the past life cannot be denied i mean with the tower card and with the death and rebirth cannot deny that i mean it's a very this energy is getting repeated right with the tower card and with the death something that got ended is getting reignited it can i mean two of pentacles is also an energy about confusion okay you probably are confused should i accept should i not i know what what happened between both of us in the past okay but this person is sounding very i mean convincing this time around your ex is sounding very convincing this time around so should i should i accept my ex's offer for valentines and the hangman and the four of pentacles is already telling me that someone is stalking you libra someone is stalking you big time someone is trying to collect information about you big time hmm is this a vice versa energy for some of you are you stalking someone need not be an ex or you might be stalking someone else a new person for some of you this is an energy of a past life soulmate you're going to meet someone special a past life soulmate interesting right i mean the if when the messages are getting repeated again and again it only means that the message is pretty strong okay the probability of happening that event increases hmm for some of you indeed uh, if if you are like oh no i don't want my ex and blah blah and blah and it's it's ended it's over and i've moved on and i want someone new quite understandable i think so then you are manifesting someone from your past life 
and never know you might go out on a date with your soulmate on 14th of feb but you are going out that is for sure you are going out on a date with someone on valentine's you will be uh you have a lot of fans by the way libra if you're not aware of it i can definitely tell you that you do have lo loads and loads of secret admirers okay be i mean you should be happy knowing that you have a lot of fans and a lot of secret admirers and a lot of people stalking you <laughs> interesting isn't it all right so let's move on and oh my god look at this what do we have at the bottom of the deck i mean are you kidding me we have 10 of pentacle <gasps> Look, we have four of wands at the bottom of the deck and ten of pentacles. Libra, are you getting married? Are you getting married? I think so. Either you're meeting someone with whom you're going to have a very solid relationship. Okay. Because all these cards, even three of pentacles... Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. All these cards are a very serious indicator of you building a very solid and a long-lasting relationship with someone. These cards are a very, very solid indicator of that. Now, for some of you, you might build or reignite a situation with your ex. It depends upon what your desire is. For some of you, you might reignite a situation with your soulmate, twin flame. Four of Wands is 11, 11, twin flame situation over here. Okay. A past life soulmate, twin flame. For some of you with Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups was the energy for uh, current interest. If you are in a relationship with someone, if you are already in a connection with someone or if you are not in a connection with anyone, if you are single, but if someone is interested in you, this person is going to be your future spouse or this person is going to be your long-term committed partner. Okay, It is very likely people who are desirous of having kids, it's very likely that uh, you'll have kids with this person. As far as the energy for the month of Feb is concerned, if you are in a connection with someone, if you are in a relationship with someone, I think so your person might throw some hints directly or indirectly. Like they want to take this connection to the next level. Now it can be anything. It depends upon at what stage you are in this connection. For some of you, it can be like living in together. For some of you, it can be like exchanging promise rings. For some of you, it can be like proposals for marriage. For some of you, marriage is going to happen very likely. I mean, this marriage is going to happen in 2024. For some of you, you might be like, let's have kids now. For some of you, it can be like buying homes together, buying a home together, buying properties together. So it depends upon... I, I do feel like, depending upon the stage where you are in this connection, uh, it's moving forward from there. Okay? As far as... Uh, As far as people who are single and someone is interested in you, I think so this person is your future spouse, okay? They will come towards you. They will ask you out. And it won't be a surprise for you, Libra. Like this person asking you out definitely won't be a surprise for you. Maybe this is something that you will be expecting. You're already expecting this person to ask you out and you know that they will come towards you at the right time and they will ask you out for Valentine's. I do see two people coming together. So it kind of looks obvious that the person who is interested in you is coming towards you with an offer. It can also be vice versa, by the way. If someone is interested in you and if you're getting bored of waiting, as Libra, you might simply approach that person. You'll be like, I'm tired of waiting and I'm getting bored. I think so. it's better I ask you out. Okay. <clears throat> as far as a brand new person is concerned as far as the brand new person is concerned i think so 
this person is going to be very cute looking libra and probably they are going to be very young looking or they can be younger than you i think so you'll find yourself getting smitten by this person because of their cuteness or because of their overall personality which which will come across as very affectionate this person will they are good they are good probably not as mature as you are but this person is on the journey of spiritual awakening okay and i do feel libra that you will get attracted towards this person but you might even feel like is this an infatuation or this is like i'm really liking this person okay because you might feel like probably this person is not an emotional equal or intellectual equal you might get a feel like that you might even feel that maybe this person needs to mature a bit they they are not where i were i am expecting my partner to be okay uh but i would say don't jump on to conclusions this person i do feel like this person will turn out to be a they will take a very significant spot in your life if you decide to be slightly patient with this person i mean just by meeting once you won't be able to really know this person well you you will have to spend some time to know this person well okay again i'm not like saying that go against uh your own will uh but have some patience this person is going to be affectionate they will love you a lot and they are they have a very charming personality you will really like this person's personality and you might if you get into a connection with this person you might even find yourself getting slightly jealous about the fact that this person attracts the op- uh, attracts opposite sex real fast and you might find yourself getting slightly frustrated because of that but apart from that i do feel that this is going to be a slow moving connection okay you will go back and forth on this person a lot this person will keep on pursuing you and i think so that is something that that will really impress you like they not giving up on you that is something that will really really impress you and really you will really love that fact of this person like they are not ready to give up on you that they really badly want you okay no one has ever done that to you before so that will be not only a turn on for you but that will also be extremely emotionally appealing that they are not ready to give up on you okay you will go and when it comes to you you will go back and forth on this person for sure okay and then this person will be like let's be friends first and i'm telling you this is going to be a slow moving connection but you'll find yourself gaining interest in this person as the time passes gaining interest in this connection as the time passes okay the more you will spend time with this person the more you will start liking this person okay so don't don't like jump on to conclusions uh as far as your general messages are concerned we have be true to yourself yes be true to yourself don't like don't uh, don't please someone else you got to please yourself you have to make yourself happy and be honest with yourself for that okay they chose you someone has chosen you they have lot of options but they have chosen you all there is to love has been there all along so you don't have to change yourself for love you don't have to be like oh if i have to attract a person towards me i got to change certain things about myself no you don't have to change you have more options than you realize you do have lot of options i heart you someone is going to say i love you i'm telling you someone is going to someone is going to say i love you to you in the month of feb things are about to get really juicy are you kidding me things are about to get really really juicy libra your your month is like rock and roll for you this month is like a rock and roll for you libra okay 
all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for extended is in description box take care have a great time and bye bye libra